N-Y-Y-S-T This is New York Yankee Sports Talk yep. Swinging for the fences Knock it out the park This is New York Yankee Sports Talk Woo. Christian and Chris Of course SGR This know. is New York Yankee Sports Talk Call me New York Yankee Sports Talk uh. Record rain or shine Grab your shades and umbrellas N-Y-Y-S-T You're hanging with the fellas Welcome back. This is episode 374 of the NYYST podcast. We are live here on NYY Underground. I'm your host, Christian, as always, joined by my co-host, Chris. You. And SGR. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. Wait a second. Go ahead. Okay. Is that your official new open now? <laughs> yeah, I Hell think yeah, it is. Dude. It's been like four or five I know. weeks Is that all now? right? We like it? I think it flows. Yeah. Because I still wait for the what up. You know what I'm waiting for is you to start p- pressing the OK drop as I'm doing it, and then we're just going back and forth. Do you want to try it real quick? Yeah. You want to verbally battle OK? Thir- I'm going to go AI, three. AI OK? I'm going to go three, two, AI, one. AI OK? Uh, AI OK. okay. I'm okay. going to hit. Th- I'm going to say three, two, one, hit the drop. Ready? Three, two, one. OK, 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 OK. It's okay. so dead on. <laughs> It's good. We are live here Thursday night, uh, about an hour and a half ago. The New York Yankees defeated the Houston assholes in defeated. Uh, uh, opening day 2024. The Yankees had to rally back from four nothing down to take down the Astros in Houston in game number one of 162. So a feel good pod today. We don't normally uh, yeah. get a lot of these recently when after the Yankees finished playing Houston. So it's a feel good pod tonight. Uh, we're going to feel real good if you hit the like button on this video and subscribe to NYYU. A monster, monster day for the channel here after uh, Pete held it down with Game Season Live. And then him and Johnny Lasagna nailed it on Post Game Season Live. And now we're here to wrap up opening day here live on NYYST. We also want you to subscribe to the NYYST podcast wherever you get your podcast and be sure to tell everybody that NYYST is the official podcast. Remember last week we dropped official Yank. We are the official podcast of Odyssey. Okay. Okay. I made an executive decision. Hey, it's not wrong. It's it's just, you're kind of like straying from the, you know, the full truth, but it's still true. It's still true. It's there's still some truth, right? You know, it doesn't matter though. Okay. Yeah. Who's gonna challenge okay. me on that? First of all, yeah. I don't know. yeah, not many people are gonna. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. If you okay. think you're, if, if you're on Odyssey and you think your podcast is better than ours, you're I'll wrong. Like yeah, no, um, that's not better. That's not better. You know, uh, Ryan, I'm sure you're pretty upset because uh, before we actually get into the game, there was a little bit of news that came out that said the Yankees were actually, uh, or the Yes Network. Yeah was actually ready to offer Buck Showalter the job that Joe Girardi yeah. got, but there was some language in uh, Buck's contract with the Mets because he, he was still yeah. should have been under uh, – he had one yeah. year left on his – Yeah, no. No, it's, it's, it's really hard His managerial me. deal that would have prevented the Mets from blocking him right. from going to the Yes Network. So, yes, backed off negotiations with Buck and then uh, locked up Girardi for yeah. the season. Yeah, we've been able to really listen to him, really get the, the impression down. But I can't do it now. I can't do it. I haven't heard him in a while. He hasn't been around. He's been kind of going on tour. They ain't let him on the air no more. It's just what we're going to do. It's what it is. We do got a, a, a super chat here. Since I'm, I'm on here, I might as well read a super chat. Slim Lewis, uh, Soto Verdugo, they bring fire and emotion. That was missing last year. <laughs> uh, Vol- Volpe might have taken another step. Potential all-star at some point in his career, question mark. What do you think? You think he's an all-star? You almost went into Dr. Phil there. Well, that's what like, my, all my impressions are, like math formulas. The, the buck is is Bill Clinton plus Dr. Phil equals wow. Buck Showalter. That's perfect. Minus the blowjob. Yeah, minus the the infidelity. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So when we did Knights of the Round Table last night, we had to educate Mario on exactly who Bill Clinton was. He was. Oh my god. <laughs> He's too young. He's too young. But How no, young I mean Volpe he, though. To get to Slim, I, he's probably like twenty. He's in his early twenties, dude. Twenty one, no, twenty one, twenty two. Uh, but Volpe was great today. I mean, that, that's definitely a step in the right direction for if we're going. But based on Bo, the game, but, post show, we were going to get to Anthony Volpe a little yeah. bit later on in the show as we get for the super uh, chat, Slim. 
All right. As we get to the offense, but today, <clears throat> excuse me, still fighting through the science infection here. So my voice sucks. Just deal with it. All right. Um, so basically today, the, uh, the game came almost was over in the first inning here when Nestor Cortez, uh, Gave up three runs, and he was on the verge of getting knocked out of the game because you saw a dirty birdie was up in the bullpen there, <laughs> and uh, he doesn't get that third out. He's out of the game. So, dirty birdie, good one. Yeah, it, it didn't. It wasn't looking good for Nestor. The Yankees, uh, they, and then they fell down four nothing after Nestor gave up the home run to lead off the second there, and the Yankees were just banging into double play after double play, and you just were starting to. You know, this is this it's is what... PTSD, bro. It's got to be the closest thing to actual PTSD that you can have. So that's what being a fan and being on yeah, social media totally. live is. Uh, it's very reactionary. And as like you said, PTSD. Now you're starting to think back to all the bad days of 2023 and how this team just couldn't score runs. And then you know what? Why are you crying? This dog does this every week it's now. Because he hates you. He, probably, um, he doesn't. Do you know how many times I looked at my wife on opening day, haven't watched a real baseball game in how many months, and I how many times I looked at her and, go, and I just kept going, why do I do this to myself? Why? Why? Why do I fucking sit here and do this? Because opening, if it's... Hold if on. it's like May or June and the Yankees have been pretty good and then they're kind of in a slide and it's frustrating, it's one thing. But when this team, when you're so excited for opening day and they come out and they do what they were doing in the beginning, go down four nothing quick, every time they have something going on, they have they're hitting into double plays. Mm -hmm. It's so funny too. I thought in the first couple innings, I thought the umpire was actually calling a really good Me game. Me too. It, then he started calling that low strike. Then he started calling that low strike. Especially and I was when like, Judge was up. What was that? The like fifth inning. That that first yeah, pitch was, was a low strike. Third at called. bat. I want to say, yes. Christian, do you agree? F were you watching the entire game, or you had to listen? No, to I was some watching the whole <clears throat> the entire game. Do you agree the first couple innings I was actually almost like shocked at how good of a game the umpire was calling behind the plate. I thought he was really consistent and then all yeah. of a sudden he gave that low strike a couple times and he was started calling it for It did seem that the the uh the plate expanded a little bit as the game went on uh, especially in a couple of bats too. Judge Stan and Volpe. I saw Volpe got called. He didn't like the strike three call, but I thought that was a good pitch. It was. It was a good pitch. There was a. It was early, high and outside. I think. There was a. There was an earlier pitch in that at bat that was definitely a ball that he called on yeah. Volpe. But look, I don't want to spend time on the umpires because they're never going to get any better because there's no repercussions for for them being terrible. So why yeah. should they get better? at anything but i mean aaron judge has been in the league since 2017 they still don't know how to call the strike zone on him so i don't know how much more time and aggravation i can spend on this you know it is None. what it is at this point what are you gonna do yeah and, what are you gonna do you know judge that was still a pretty terrible at bat on his part but look these umpires don't realize how one strike completely changes the the complexion of an at bat they don't understand it i don't that and i don't understand how they don't understand it so can you, back to, go ahead. Yeah, no, you go. No, because I was gonna get back to Nestor Cortez. No, let's get back to Nestor because I'm sure we'll talk about Judge in a little bit. Because uh, you know what? I don't know if anybody is with me on this, and it was said a little facetiously, but also what I think is gonna happen, although probably not what the Yankees would do. That when Garrett Cole comes back, it's probably going to be Nestor Cortez's spot that he takes. And Nestor Cortez uh, was really pitching that way early on in the game. But you know what? You got to give him. You got to give a guy credit when he's on the ropes and ready to get knocked out in the first inning. And then you're standing there. He's giving you 15 outs. And now when he leaves the game, the Yankees were down. Was it four three when he left? 
Yes. No. Yes, it, it, yes, yeah, it was. And then, then Oswaldo scored. tied it in the top half of the sixth. They right, tied it in the top half of the sixth? Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. So he was off the hook at that point. No. Yes. And look, is that, isn't, that, isn't that like, wouldn't you take that practically every time? I don't I want know to, four runs is a lot, yeah, but, not but with this to... offense, come on. All right. Here's what I want to say real quick. And it's going to sound unfair. Because of who Nestor is, Let's go back to before he was ace-like for a couple seasons. What was it? 2021, 2022, I think they put a graphic up. Combined, he had a 2.61 ERA in those two mm-hmm. seasons combined, which is unbelievable. But there's a catch to that. It's, it's unbelievable in itself, but it's even more unbelievable for a guy like Nestor Cortez. What does that mean? Christian, what was Nestor Cortez before he was that guy? Homeless. Homeless. Uh, Designated for the, assignment. The Yankees absolutely regretted drafting him. I don't know they, if they hated his. They hated his guts. They didn't draft him. He was a bum. Uh, yes, they did draft him. Wasn't he yeah, drafted by did. Baltimore? Remember, no. I gave you the trivia. He's the first Yankee since uh, Andy Pettit since that was Andy drafted Pettit. and signed to start opening day for the team. Shit. Yeah. Um, Chris, you got me. So here's the here's my problem with on the ropes Nestor. I was blown away. I thought any guy who can go out there and do that, you have my all my respect. Yeah, I thought he fucking buckled down. It takes a guy with balls to do that, and that's I always, awesome. Look, Nestor's a. I I never want to say that Nestor's not a gutsy guy that he doesn't drop. Lots of nuts. That's uh, if you guys saw Knights at the Round Table last night. Lots of nuts. Okay, drops lots of nuts. Everybody was dropping nuts last night. So okay. if you want to say that Nestor is a guy that goes out there, drops his nuts on the. That's I have no issue with that. I think that he he does pitch with more guts than talent anyway. Uh, that's how he gets by a lot of the time. But the fact of the matter is like. Four runs over five innings. Yeah, it worked out today. He settled down. The offense was was able to come back. It's it's just not enough right now. It's not going to be enough mm-hmm. over the course of 162. It's not going to be enough uh, if the Yankees don't get uh, uh, help in this rotation. You know, Nestor Cortez is a guy that they have kept around because he's had a track record, but... I don't think the Yankees can rely on that track record anymore. I think we're closer to what we saw today than what we saw two years ago. Yeah, so that was the point I was going to make here, is that if he's not the guy of 2021, 2022, which we never expected him to be, if he's not that guy, I don't think Nestor Cortez necessarily has a middle ground for me. And I don't know if that's fair, but for me it's like, is he going to be the the fucking nasty Nestor where he got his name over those two years? Because if not, I really don't have confidence in him. And that might sound shitty. But because I just, I don't see him profiling as this middle of the road guy who only gives up four every five. Like, if he's going to be gutsy today, maybe you get a couple dominant starts. But I think for the most part, you're holding your breath with this guy again. And then he becomes extremely expendable once again. And that's shitty. It sucks. So every, shitty. we're all praising Nestor because he settled down. He buckled down. He showed guts. If he does, if he does what he did today over the course of a season, his ERA is 7.2. Right. But if he does what he did today against in, in key games against big teams, and that is going to be enough. I'm not start if yeah. I had a choice to start him against Houston in a big game. I'm not, I, I, I don't think I would do uh, it. I don't, I don't know either because that's such you know, they have such great right uh, hitters, right handed hitters. So, and they have Look, great left handed hitters. Too. I think a great lineup to limit that I, lineup to four runs was yeah, impressive to me. But here's, here's the problem it's opening day, it's tough to. It's probably not even right to focus in and and think about it too much. No, it is right, okay? And I'm going to tell you why it's right. Because this is the team that you're going to have to beat to get to the World Series. Yeah, but Christian, if Nestor is an option, 
to try and beat this team and, to get to a World Series, that's a problem. And right now, even with Garrett Cole back, could you see a scenario where Nestor Cortez is the top four in this rotation? Yes, Christian. And then right after I admit to that, you can go back to last week's episode where I told you the Yankees were fucking foolish for not getting a deal done with someone else. Oh, you're so foolish. And you were like, well, they tried to sign up. And they see, here's my point. Now, him money. See, this, so this Christian. is this is what you're gonna do now. Is that you want to you want to extract you? No, dude. You I mean, extract that out of me now. No, it's what I want to do is I want to go. God, yeah, you guys you, are going. You're you you're wanna, taking the yeah, car and you're going dude. down a negative road. Why, you wanna, why are you driving you, me off the road? And you want to get yelled at the road at, here, guys. It's like you're. It's like you want you like punishment. That's what it is. You know what it is. What it is, is there. <laughs> what it is is you want to you want to knock down my rational thinking and criticism. So now I'm just gonna roll with the punches here. But no, I don't think it's fair. Place, Chris, because, time and a place. I don't think it's fair to knock Nesta Cortez I, it, right now. No, it is fair to knock him. It's very I thought he was. I thought he was dry. great. And if he's our option right now, I'm taking it. He didn't pitch great. I wouldn't don't No, that wasn't you. great. But it was definitely what you would No, hope I thought what get. he did was great, I said. Yeah. He did a good job today in the fact that when he knew when it came down to it where the game could have went this way and we would have seen uh Trent Grisham in center field in the seventh inning and not Aaron Judge. It didn't go that way. He put his <laughs> foot down. And he got through the first inning and settled in and allowed this offense to come back. Yes, but the and fact it was that fantastic. It, and the fact of the matter is that I have no faith in this guy anymore when he takes the mound. Agreed. That's fair. And you know what I love? I love this. When it's April and the Yankees go on a three-game skid and we're like, guys, settle down. Everyone's like, this team's going to blow up. They're not even going to make the playoffs. And we're like, guys, settle down. It's April. What does everyone say? All these games matter. Every single one. Now we have fucking cucks in the in the chat going, oh my God, it's game one and they won it. Okay, guess what? I don't care about game one. I care about game 162 plus. And Nestor Cortez, I don't think can be an option. And we have a podcast to run here where we need to talk about important things. And I do think... While I think we should lay off saying he's a fucking washed up piece of garbage. Oh, uh, he belongs living on the street still, am I? Yeah, right. You hate his guts. You always have. You called him something foul. Well, he, I don't like him. No, I didn't call him anything. I said he was a team mascot. Right. Yeah. Right. And I and went back and I'll go back to that. He'll serve the team better wearing, you've always hated wearing a fuzzy him. head than pitching for them. You've always hated him, but look, this team I, won today. I don't we gotta hate get him. to we got to get to Nestor. It's like him. For me, here's here's my exact point. If Nestor had always been the Nestor we thought he was, you'd be sitting here saying he was brilliant today. And that's my problem with what he's trending down. If we expect... Wait a second. So you think if we expected 2022 Nestor this year... No, 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 thought, no, no, no. Wait a second. Wait a second. If, we, if he was the guy we expected him to be before he was brilliant... In those two years, right? If he was Nestor Cortez that used to come out and piggyback games and get shelled, you'd be like, wow, Nestor was really fucking amazing today. Maybe he's got it. Maybe he can buckle down and do it. But you're I, thinking I about the guy who had a much, two. I don't know, man. I feel like Nestor's agent DM'd you and uh, got in your head a little bit here. You do a little Nestor Cortez shilling tonight. What do you mean? No, what I'm saying is, if he didn't have those two amazing years... He wouldn't be. He, he wouldn't have been pitching for the Yankees. Exactly. Today. And then if he was and he pitched the way he did, you'd be saying he was fucking brilliant. But you're not because you're thinking about the two years where he combined a 2 no, actually, I'm ERA. thinking about last year, about how he was atrocious and then got hurt. That's what I'm thinking about. Well, then I'll, I'll pull a page out of your book, pal. Call the Yankees and tell them that you'll pay the salary... <laughs> If they just release them, and then you're good. Uh, I would. I'll defer the payments. Okay. I, I don't All right. With that. Defer it to 2032. Okay. <laughs> oh God. Without <laughs> without comparing them to past, let's just say this: Nestor Go Cortez, so Nestor's past. Nestor Cortez, in a bubble, today, 
showed some balls on the mound, buckled yeah. down, gave this offense buckled, what it needed. Bumble. He could have he could have been so bad he came out. He in had first buckled inning. down. He had buckled down balls because it was opening day. But this is this is seventeenth okay. against it. Oakland. You're not giving him bucket right. down balls today. For sure. You're not looking at this You're... as any sort of positive. You're exactly. like, oh, yeah, You're right. No, like... I, I agree with that. But uh, but in the big games, if this is the production on, this on is opening box day, on oh, fine. It. Opening day, he gets buckled down balls. Buckled uh, down balls. If he does this shit next next start, buckled he's not getting buck- he, he's not getting right. buckled down balls. Well, he, here's now. another thing too. Trickle going down going balls. that's what I was thinking. Buckle down uh, economic. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle down economics. Um, Saber metrics. Oh. What I was thinking too was going into the game, every single analyst said the same thing. I'll oh, give him 15 outs, give him 15 outs. Yeah. So all of a sudden that, that lowers the bar right off the bat to be like, okay, Nestor's got to give me five. That's all the Yankees need. Yeah. And then he did. And it was real shitty in the beginning, but like SGR saying, if a pitcher is going to give this offense yeah. Five innings, a four-run ball. Yeah, you look over the big picture; it's not great. But if Carlos Rodon does this tomorrow, you giving him buckled down balls against Houston, the first his first start of the year. Yeah, sure. He gets gives up four runs balls. in the first inning, and then uh, well, Yanks. Three, start, or did he give a uh, four right away? I'm just saying. Let's say. Yeah, he gives uh, yeah. Up, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's say he just gives a four. In the yeah, look, first. four in the first. You're but gonna then give if they him. You give it Rodon. But you're he gonna, doesn't. Then he doesn't give up any more runs for the next four. He shuts you know, him down for think, four. That's I don't think you give buckle down. I don't think you're giving him buckle down balls there. I don't nah, think you're giving him down balls. But he buckled Rodon. down. No, I need Carlos but Rodon he, to give me fuck you. But he flew out you. of the car in the first inning, and there's I need Carlos Rodon to point. give me fuck you balls. Where Buckles he, down. I said this the other day. I want Carlos Rodon to get arrested for yeah. um, public. What yeah, is it? Public it, indecency? Indecency or exposure. Exposure. Because I yeah. want him to go out there, drop his balls right on the rubber. Lots of nuts. You want one of the grounds crew to come and tackle him. And that's the kind of that's the kind of season I need from Carlos Rodon. Sure. And it can't start on the wrong foot. He Look, can give me five innings. He can labor a little. But he can't give me four runs. He can't. Look, I'll be fair. He didn't blow up the game. He tried to. He didn't. He kept the Yankees in the game. Mm-hmm. I get it. Where he's supposed to be slotted. So you want to you always say it's what you ask for a guy. Fine. Boom. I have no faith in Nestor Cortez as being a big game pitcher. I have no faith in Nestor Cortez even lasting this season, whether it be even healthy or in this rotation based on performance. That's just where I'm at right now with him. Can he prove me wrong? Can he go on a string of 10, 15 starts and revert and, go, and get some revert to go and get back to 2022, Nestor? Maybe I would think differently, but I'm starting to line up the evidence now, you know? Yeah, it's only fair, but but we ha- but it's a positive show, right? It's a positive show. So today. that's why I'm saying we're giving him buckled down balls today. Give him right. buckled down. We're going to end it with buckled down balls for Nestor. That's a positive. Because he did give up four and almost came out in the first inning. Regardless of what you just heard, we are going to brainwash you right now. Everything was actually positive. If you listen to it in full context, we are staying positive. Nestor, buckle down. Yankees win. So you want you want to take the real positives out of uh, the, the, the pitching today? Uh, Ian Hamilton isn't. I I'm gonna fall in love with Ian Hamilton. I think like I, I I'm like right there. Yeah, it's like you're you're just ready to commit to him. All right. I am. I'm ready to. I think I'm ready to commit. What like, is it about him? You think restructured face? Yeah, yeah you like it. the scarred face. I like how I I like how he looks I'm like a, I like on. how he looks like a GI Joe on the mound, bro. Somebody said this on the on the panel last night. It looks like he's an action a live action a live he does. real life GI Joe a, a real life action figure. So let me ask you this. Let's dive into this just a little. Yeah. What about him after one game this year makes you say that? It's not one game this year. Hold on. That's what I'm getting at. Why are you saying now you're this close to falling in love? But with all of last season, his games with the Yankees. You want to know why? Yeah, I do. Because they were fucking out of it. It's already. It's all about context, right? Okay. What happened after Ian Hamilton came out of the game? Play <laughs> the, game the, game. the game almost got blown up. Yeah. 
Look, let's save Clay Holmes for the end of the show because yeah, he, come on, a positive he, he, show. He's Buckle the, down. He's, he's the right. closer, but uh, Ian Hamilton. Uh, Ian Hamilton might be the biggest. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be the biggest. I think he's going to. I think Boone might proctor him this year. That's how much he's going to rely yeah, on him. I could see him getting proctored for sure. Oh, uh, I disagree. I, no, no, no. I don't disagree, but I think there's another guy who's going to get proctored so long L- as he lasagna. doesn't. Get, yeah. Lasagna. So long as he doesn't get hurt. No, they're not going to. They can't proctor him. Yeah. Why? Because of the I, multiple I inning know. thing. No, yeah, because they're not going to use him. He's going to fall into the Michael King. Yeah, role you're, that's today, exact... today solidified that or like immediately that he was right there. Well, that's what they things. said that we're, we're going to do with him. That he's going to yeah. when he comes into a game, it's two pitch multiple innings, and he will have multiple days off before he pitches again. All right. So that's the cool. I guess the earliest you would see him again is is Sunday. Okay. Okay. So I, I mean, thought J Lo looked pretty good. Sure. I mean, he settled down. He got the outs when you, he needed to. He gave up some base runners, but he got out of them. Christian thought uh, Boone left him in one batter too long, and I, I don't necessarily disagree, but well, um, look, that was all I, with two outs there that inning. I just I don't know. I just don't look, know. Look, he he got he had that was his best at bat of his outing against the Brady to strike him out to get out of that jam, but he had given up a couple hits his, in his first inning, labored a little bit. Yeah. Then he came back out. Verdugo makes a nice play. That ball was roped out there in left field. Followed that up with a hit. I'm just feeling at that moment, you don't want to let Luiza could be the guy to give up the game there. Yeah. Against a guy that is very dangerous at Abreu. Uh, because even though average wise he wasn't very good last year, he still drove in a shit ton of runs. But then who are you going to? Because you know the Yankees are are so uptight they're not letting hamilton get multiple so let him get that out they're not letting him get four outs and let him get that game. out and then what go to someone else for the eighth who cares who you said that you wanted to treat this game like it was an important postseason game and that would have been it what did it have been i don't think i mean i'll literally do anything you can think of if those words came out of my mouth at any point, or what did you say then? That it felt like it was it was being managed like it was an important postseason game. No, I kn- yes, no. you did. You said something to that effect. I no, I did not anything. ever. You're hallucinating. I th- are you sick still? I can't quote. We can't quote quote you on that. Maybe you're thinking a couple weeks ago when I talked about how I didn't think Nestor should be the opening day starter. You didn't text anything like that. I'm screaming. Oh, maybe this is what you said. I'm screaming like it's a meaningful game yes. in September. I said because Soto made that play. Yeah, I was going nuts. There was some big. And I said, I'm screaming as if it's a fucking game in September where they're in a pennant race. I was screaming at the television. Well, maybe I was reading your text while I was reading a tweet maybe. Where, while somebody said this, something like that. But, maybe. hey, you know what? You got to go for the win on opening day, right? Look, if you want to just segue real quick while we're here, you know, you uh, you had your criticisms of leaving him in, uh, J-Lo, in maybe one batter too long, but... If we're going to stay positive here, I thought Booney actually managed a really good game today. Sounds stupid, but I think the Yankees having a game plan, I never liked it, but I kind of, I kind of liked the blueprint today. I liked Loisica for a couple innings. I liked Hamilton coming in. We're going to get to Clay Holmes, but right now that's his only option. That's the option that's on paper. So, I thought Booney actually did a pretty good job. I don't know how much uh I don't know how much say he has in, in these lineups. I'm sure we can get to that too. Maybe that's where I would criticize him the most. But other than that, man, a win's a win. On opening day, I'll fucking take it. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess looking at the names, I, I don't know who would pitch the eighth. I, nobody, nobody's name really jumps off at you. I guess these are the Yankees' big three would be at this point. But I mean, which it's really only a big two, dude. Because if you're using J Lo two innings and then you're telling me he needs multiple days off, it, it, that's a problem. 
But I mean, why not find out if you don't want to let Hamilton go get up, uh, get up again? Why not try to find out about somebody? I mean, you're going to have to at some point, right? It's why not on the first day? So let me ask you this. Let's say tomorrow. Let's go best case scenario. Yankees are up in a close game. JLo is not available, right? Johnny Lasagna is not available. He's definitely not available tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Hamilton comes back out for the eighth. Clay Holmes comes back out for the ninth. And then I, you go probably beater. I would say would get would take a Michael King type role, or yeah. Luke Weaver. Okay, but if it's multiple days off for J Lo, who pitches in Game Three if it's close and they're winning? Then it's Luke Weaver, or so I think it'll be Beater or Weaver in the next two games. They'll that'll be the long, uh, like middle guy. They're gonna have to, to get something the out. Of the, I mean, they're gonna have to get something out of Nick Birdie. They're gonna yeah, have to get pl- something plus you out have of all those guys, the lefties. Okay, Ferguson you know, Gonzalez. Exactly. I mean, they're on the roster for a reason. You got to get hey, something out of them. Hey, let me tell you something. If these kids show up and can be a force this bullpen is a lot scarier than i thought i'll sure. tell you that if yeah you especially because you they can rely on these guys yes exactly if you can rely yeah. on those guys as much as you can rely on j-lo if you could stay healthy yeah that, right it's all about that's a everyone pretty, staying healthy then that then this is could be a good bullpen but then that's you a could pretty see starters dominant. going down yeah and those guys well, have to step up hey Let's stay positive. But no, we're positive. That's just okay. not gonna happen. So if you want to be positive, okay, uh, you can be positive about the way this offense looked today. It didn't do anything that really jumped out at the page at you. And in fact, you were probably getting pretty frustrated with it after the fourth inning when Verdugo banged into yeah. that uh double play. Was third that one. a second double play? Uh no, his no, it was their third at that point. Their third, uh, it was their third. I yeah. thought it was his second, but no. no he he ground, hit one. He, he hit had, one. Who was the he, other one? Trevino. Yeah. Yes. Expected. Um. So, but what they did is they grinded out at bats. So last year when they struck out 17 times and Aaron Boone wanted, oh, they're good at bats. Today 20. they really they really did have good at bats today. Yeah. You saw Very, you saw uh, with the fact that Valdez didn't even make it out of uh what the the fifth inning, right? He got pulled or fourth? uh yeah. Now yeah, the I fifth believe. inning. Yeah. Well, when did Presley come in? I mean, he was up to 85 pitches going into that Seventh. fifth. Someone else came in before uh, Presley. Yeah, you had like Montero and then... Uh, well, who gave up the, it was, who gave up the home run to Cabrera? Montero, so, I thought. So that was in yeah, the sixth, Montero. wasn't it? Yeah. Monteo, yes. Montero, whatever. Montero, Rafael Montero. All right, so... <laughs> go ahead. I was just going to say, again, it's opening day, so we're just treating this like we're 60 games in. There's nothing else we can do. We can say you can't look into anything too much because it's opening day. We can say it a million times. What kind of show is that? We got to look at this and act like it's game 60 at this point. Or else, what's the fucking point? Okay, you say that all the time. You get to the point. Okay, I'll get to the point. To me, it looks like this team might have three guys right now. Not including Judge because... Judge, to me, had a just an a atrocious game at the plate. But overall, you're going to add Judge into this equation. The Yankees have three guys after today that are just incredible at looking at pitches. Yeah. That's Juan Soto, obviously. I mean, guys on another level. Yeah. I think Glaber Torres has really started to solidify that he has a great eye at the plate. Yeah. He's become way more calm. He's way more patient. He's way more confident with two strikes. He's willing. I don't know if you caught this, but it was a 3-0 count. And it looked like he purposely took two sh- pitches. He was This guy was not throwing strikes. And he purposely took two pitches. He wanted to put him on the ropes. He was confident and he has a great eye at the plate. And that third guy right now, after one game, I can tell you this guy is nowhere near where he was last year is Anthony Volpe. He looks 
like a completely different human being at the plate. I was extremely impressed with Volpe at the yeah, plate. Three today. walks, three walks today. Yeah, Glaber was 0 for 4 today, but I did like the at bats. He had good yeah. at bats. He really did. Yeah, even the first at bat of the day, I think he struck he just, out, but it was 0 2, then 3 Yeah, two. he looked like a guy that was trying to work counts and see pitches yeah. because he was hitting leadoff. So, I mean, I sure. personally still don't like him there. No, I hate him at leadoff. Hate him. I don't and mind it, though, if he's going to be like the person you're profiling right now, Chris, is a guy who's going to see pitches. Those front three being the best eyes on the team, that's going to just set up so yeah, much damage. I'll, t- I'll tell you why I don't like it, right? I'm going to give you a okay. point here. Okay. All okay. right. Okay. Because I think that flip-flopping Verdugo, even if you want to uh, move Glaber up to six, because Verdugo bad at seven today, flip-flopping Verdugo and, and uh, Verdugo – and Glaber maximizes the both of them where I don't feel like they're getting maximized at where they are right now. Does that make any sense? So like yeah, I agree. Glaber I agree with the you. seven hole. Well, you could bat him six and then drop both six. to seven. I like just saying ninth. I'm just saying, but you're not going to bat. You're, you're not going to, what are you going to bat? You're not going to back a bird seven. So, I mean, you have to kind of, I'll bat. tell you what, I'll I'll make a prediction. Yeah. Although I expect Birdie to play tomorrow. I would expect Birdie to play tomorrow. But maybe I'll after a... Cabrera's home run today, he plays again. So yeah, Maybe. I'll make a prediction. Volpe continues to have consistent at-bats the way he did today. It will not be long before he's our leadoff hitter. It will not be long. If that's, if that's the kind of guy we're going to get, a special... Now, here's where he needs to keep proving what he's proving. With that one with that one hit he had today, it wasn't just a regular hit. That was a secondary swing on a ball that he put right back up the middle that last year he either would have struck out or popped up weakly. Easily. To me, he would have swung right over it, pulled his head right out. Out of every ten pitches thrown to Anthony Volpe in twenty twenty three, how many of them did he try to hit a home run on? All all of them? Okay. Every 10? Every one that he saw today, how many pitches did he try to hit a home run on? Zero. Yeah, one. Really one. He got a hanging breaking ball up in the zone. He, oh, he you're right. You're right. That was the only time that I looked at him and said that he was. And he should have. And, and he should have. It was nobody's, a Right. Nobody's saying that when you get a hanging breaking ball up in you're the zone right. to not put, your ho- put a home run swing on it. But last year, every single pitch that that dude was swinging at, he Flying was, open. He was trying to hit a home run on. Today, you saw a much more controlled batter. You saw a yeah. guy that saw pitch as well, and you saw a guy that had a plan up there. Mm-hmm. Anthony Volpe had no fucking plan last year, and that was the biggest thing that worked against him is he had no idea what he was doing other than the swing from his heels last year. And he's got the type of talent, and he's got the type of power especially in the short porch with Yan- uh, Yankee Stadium, that he can go the opposite way and run into 20 home runs. Right. This guy is not a 209 hitter. This yeah. guy is not a guy that should be having the devil's uh, n- uh, OPS, okay? Shouldn't be hitting in the 660s OPS-wise, right? Right. And I know a lot of people don't think that he can be a 240, 250 hitter. Guess what? You're right. He is not a two. He's not going to be a two forty, two fifty hitter this year because the guy we saw today is a two seventy five to two eighty hitter. That's the guy we saw today. Yeah, maybe more. And... Much more confident up there, not jumpy. This guy. I mean, again, it's one game, but you have to love what you saw out of Anthony Volpe's approach at the plate today. So here's what the Yankees need from a leadoff hitter. They obviously need a guy who makes contact, but they need a they need a smart hitter up there. And saying Volpe has a great eye now is only half of the equation because if he if if you start sliding him in above Soto and Judge, he's not necessarily going to need a great eye. He's going to get a lot more strikes. So you need to also have confidence in him that he's going to be able to take those pitches up the middle and get on base. And like I said, if he continues down this path with a, with consistent games like this, where he just, it's not just saying he has a good eye now. It was the entire approach he took at the plate 
was unlike anything I've seen him do all last season. And for me, eventually, it's going to be tough for the Yankees to keep him at keep him out of the leadoff spot. Yeah, we'll see what happens because, uh, again, they talked about this on the game today, is that the Yankees want DJ LeMayu to bat leadoff. I don't understand the fascination with that at all. I don't know. For me, it doesn't compute why you want a guy that slow. Number one, he's a base. He's a base clogger. I don't know why you'd want that in front of uh, Judge and St- uh, Soto. And I don't think he's going to be the hitter that Glaber, Volpe, or Verdugo is going to be this year. So why do you want him lead off? I'll tell you what. That might be the sexiest argument you have. For Volpe being leadoff is the speed. Abo- uh, hitting in front of Soto and Judge, it might be the speed. Because if he's going to draw walks the way that he did today, it's an automatic double. You got a guy in running, a runner in a scoring position to start the game, and Juan Soto's coming up. Yeah, I mean, you saw today. Uh, who was up at? Who was up when uh, Verdugo made that play? Uh, Tucker. Kyle Tucker and Altuve was at first, right? I, sure. I'm almost positive Altuve was at first. And if that ball drops, Altuve's scoring no problem. Altuve's scoring no problem just being halfway between first and second. Even if Verdugo gets a, a glove on that ball to slow it down, he's probably scoring easily. And DJ's not coming anywhere near that doesn't have that kind of I don't know you're playing at Yankee Stadium I don't think it I don't think that's too much like we should look into that too much but you do make a good point in why what I guess the best question to ask is we can make all these arguments for all these other guys being lead off what's the argument for DJ what Uh. 2019 that he comes back to that form yeah yeah exactly those guys that's, that's what him. i'm saying that what, players what's are gonna, the argument that pitchers, that pitchers are gonna 20 that he'll be seeing a lot of good pitches and dj should be the type of player that takes advantage of those types of pitches yeah i don't want to hold his feelings that's what it, it is I, yeah right? no and that it could that is because you know you saw stanton hitting right in the middle of that lineup today so you know is that a feelings move and it I sucks, mean, dude. I love DJ. He was great when he first came here. Yeah. Yeah, Stan didn't really back up any of my bold claims that this was going to be his uh his big SMD tour this year. Stan, I mean, and we can chalk up to it's just one game. Yeah, we'll get that. That's him that exactly one. what I'm doing It'll with Judge one, at the play. Yeah, but, but, but he looked terrible, but it's one game. But he also faced a lefty with a little bit of velocity and he looked just kind of as lost as he did last year. Yeah. This, this still should have been a guy that should have had better at bats against. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna. Hey, Big G's here. Big G's gonna be Big G. Oh, hey, he's gonna be Big G. Okay. Yeah. Dig G, dig B. So I don't know, man. I I don't want to come on here and and talk about Alex Verdugo because I don't want anybody to say that he's my boy because I was getting attacked today for some yeah. reason. Oh my God! I'm Why you just you had. I just feel like you're just always you just want to fight people. I don't maybe, want to fight anybody. I mean, you do always get pretty defensive on. Tweet. Maybe the guy was just saying he's your boy. Like no, he, because he came like, bro. great. No, 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 no. That's maybe he, this guy looks up to you. He and... doesn't because you didn't see the reply that he gave. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> <Okay. laughs> then he went on to say that all all I did all, all is he said all I did all off season was praise the move and say how great Cashman is. And so I said I know you. I know you couldn't agree with it more. Yes, yeah. I mean he is your he's your boy. I now. mean I don't know. I I told him I don't know how. You, that's how I know you're not paying attention. There's a difference wow. between liking something and then uh, sitting there heaping praise upon Brian Cashman. We do have a super chat here from I love Forex. I think What's that's a good? condom brand. Yeah, or a cartoon <laughs> character or something. Okay. Uh, chiming in on our Lemayhu chat here. DJ was literally a clutch machine, remember? And then some emojis. We have the uh, smiley face with the hearts emojis and the mm-hmm. angel face emojis and then the blowing kiss face. 
Yes, the Yankees remember too. Yeah, I and then a they sarcasm there. So they've sarcasm. chosen to forget Forex. everything after that. Forks. So. Forks. Forex. Yeah. Well, guess super what? Chat explain forks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So guess what happens to machines? They become outdated. Oh, yeah, he was the machine. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's got to update that model, dude. It's they didn't. Fucking... They didn't. They he's didn't chat his... GPT too, and. Yeah. Everyone else is on chat GPT 4.5. Yeah, it's like DJ LeMay, you still got an iPhone 3 right now. That's right. right. He's he's stuck on the early models right. there. Okay. 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 He's got an update. Okay. He's got the iOS. Okay. And three in the morning. Okay. Uh, turns my phone off. Okay. Can we just talk about Juan Soto for a minute? Yeah, man. Dude, it just there. You know what? You know what I love about him, and it's kind of like what I what reminds me of him with like Cole is how much they're gonna provide for this team, like outside of their game, because you saw so much of that energy yes. he was bringing, top step of the dugout when the guys were coming in, like stuff like that goes such a long way in my opinion. Where it's where just, the, it's just people feed off of it. It's just next level coping by people that hate the Yankees and have miserable lives that they think this guy is miserable playing oh, for the Yankees. Dude. I've never seen somebody come here whether it be trade or free agency and just i don't know man belong belong here not even like it took even mm. i i even think it took cole like a minute to kind of like become the garrett cole that he is yeah. now where he is he's the de facto pitching coach right like everybody knows that like juan before. soto was born to be here he was meant to be here star is born Okay. Like he said how important it was for him to go to the Yankees yeah. Academy in Dominican Republic to get so people would know that he was part of the organization and and see all that stuff. Like it's not a guy doesn't do that if he's fucking miserable getting traded somewhere, you know? No, he looked like he was having yeah. fun out there. Look, you think him and Aaron Judge you, you think he's not having fun playing with Aaron Judge, being a teammate with Aaron Judge? Bro, right look now? at them in the outfield. They were like two fucking giddy yeah, kids wild. on their first What have date. you ever seen exactly when after after Soto threw uh a Dubon out at the plate there in the ninth inning when they're pounding their biceps and shit? Yeah, dude. Bro, they what, almost what fucking have, kissed. Well, going when did you there. I've Dude, when have you ever seen Aaron Judge smile like that? In eight years yeah, that he's was... been here, I've never seen him smile like that. Beautiful. Wild. Smile. You don't think that Soto is watching the biggest star in the game that doesn't illegally bet on sports uh, fawn over <laughs> him like that? <laughs> Another super <laughs> chat from I Love Forex. Don't forget Ching, Chin Ming Wong had a foot no, injury. No, they didn't say Chin Ming Wong. Well, I'm not going to... It was Ching Ming Wong, they said. I'm going to just say the Be name accurate. the right way. Be accurate. Unless he's yeah. talking about someone else, but I think it's the, you know. Right, well, you know that we can't say anything racial like it's that. It's not. I'm reading some. someone posted it. All right. If they fucking wrote to jump off a bridge, would you do it, Chris? <laughs> yeah, maybe I would. Um, Let's oh, just say. We got say super chat. Chris, jump off, off a bridge. A bridge. Um, what if oh, they left a one million dollar super chat for you to jump off the bridge? I would do it. Well, all right, we gotta do it. But we're not giving any to your family. How? Um, not even his brother. What's my percentage well, of? Oh wait, if I die and my family doesn't get it? Yeah, like no, me fuck only. You, dude, all... you're selfish in this fucking scenario. Yeah, why did you guys get so? Uh, why? Like, why let can't let you... my family dark. fucking why, eat? Dude. Why can't you take one for the team? Yeah, I would from. If my family's guaranteed the money in ink. All right, here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do for your family, right? Okay. Okay. I'll buy your wife. uh, My wife. Well, yeah. (laughs) Okay. I will buy your wife a used Hyundai Sonata. Okay. uh, Between uh, 2017 and 2019. Okay. Okay. And I will make sure that your kids eat. For the next six months, didn't say what. I will buy it at the grocery store, though. No deal. Oh, fuck you, dude. I'm not taking the briefcase. Uh, I love condoms. Also said, take off hat, and I donate fifty dollars. No, my forehead is way too big. Um, you don't have that, that big of a forehead. I have a, a six head, dude. But I have. That's why I have long hair, though. I have a I have a huge head, dude. Yeah, did I guess you guys didn't realize that Jake Gyllenhaal is actually uh, Ryan's uh, long lost 
uh, yeah. brother. Yeah, we're bros. Really? You think so? You didn't get vibes yeah. from that video that I sent you the other no. day? I didn't watch it, man. I was. You got to go back and watch it. You, I know you, you have your problems with Howard Thanks, Stern. Thanks, Forex, though. How about but, Forex jumping in here with the, these super chats? But already? don't watch it for Howard Stern. Watch it for the way Jake Gyllenhaal looks. Oh, I've seen those clips. And his reactions. It's, it's okay. SGR. It's, a, right. it's, a, it's SGR. Yeah, that's great. All right. yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal's yeah. cute. Good looking guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's a compliment. Jake, is, and I feel Jake, good about that. Jake GG, Jake Gyllenhaal guy. G-G. Let's just keep talking about Soto for a second. Yeah. This fucking guy comes here. You know how guys come here? Like, I'll give you an example, a recent example from today, where you're just like, Verdugo's up, base is loaded. This is his time right off the bat to prove he belongs, right? You didn't even feel that with Juan Soto because he didn't have to. He just belongs. He belongs here. He's meant to be here. Yeah, I mean, I think he only even had, what, what like one total base tonight? Like he, it didn't was, even, he didn't even have that like great of a game, but it was still a great game by him. He's that, the only the kind guy, of player he is. He's the only guy of his stature that has come here. And you've said, and you don't have to, guy has to prove to me that he belongs here. He does not have to prove it. He just, he proved it. In one game, without even really doing that much at the plate, and I'm not even taking into account what he did in the field right now. I'm just talking about his presence. He's here. This guy has fit in so well and become such a part of the chemistry of what this team needs to, to, to do going forward to win a World Series and then on top of that, he has great at bats. On top of that, yeah. he saves the game with throwing the runner out at home plate. Yeah, that and was then awesome. he he flaunts a little with Judge. I mean, cool. everything about it was enough to scream at the top of your lungs, which I did, and yeah. so did my son, and it was fucking awesome. Dane Dane even just said in the chat, and I had this feeling today: that Soto needs to finish his career in pinstripes. And I got that feeling just watching him today, and I. Bet you that he's kind of got that feeling too. That that that's just it's different. It's different playing here when you have success for the Yankees. He saw it in just one game. That feeling is it's just different. And he, and he's just special on a different level. Yeah, it, it it's going to be awesome to be able to watch him all year. See, I just want to touch on something real quick before we get into uh, Clay Holmes here because I think it's important that even though uh, things did go overall well for the Yankees, this is a, going to be an overriding problem. As the season progresses, the vibes we talked about the vibes were different in camp, and everybody, you know, uh, John Brophy, who's now part of the team, has been covering the Yankees down in spring training for a Dude, long time. Said said the same thing. This was like he's seen the way the team was interacting. It's just been different. Every a lot of people have been saying it. it's been different, right? Then it started with the Verdugo injury, even though it was an injury. But we said that was like. That was the black cloud coming back. Right. The first time you saw somebody get scratched from the lineup and then the shit would judge. Cole's out two months, right? Just And then you saw all the gaslighting and the lying. It was all coming back again. It was just like the same vicious cycle of bullshit from this organization, right? And then they played today. And you can honestly sit there and watch that game and tell me that this team is not different almost on a fundamental level than it was last year, you're lying to yourself. The 2023 Yankees do not win this game. They lose that game 8 nothing. I tweeted it earlier. This game goes so badly for the 2023 Yankees. Aaron Judge is pulled in the middle of the game so Boone can get him off his feet. This team found a way to win this game. That's the difference. And again, you want to make it too much of opening day, fine, but that's all we have to go on. And I could go on what happened last year where there's no fucking chance the 2023 Yankees are sniffing. And what I mean sniffing within three runs of a victory in the eighth inning of sniffing a victory in this game. And they won today. Here, I, I always say this. Good teams beat beat the great teams. Great teams beat the teams that they should beat up on, right? We've always said good 
the good Yankee teams will beat some of the better teams, but then they lose and play down to the level of the White Sox or whoever else, and they lose these games, and then they don't go on these runs, right? Yeah. But I'll also say this. So exactly what happened last year, by the way. Exactly. At the start of the year, they went to Chicago, and they, right. they got, I don't know if they got swept or they lost the series. Right. Here's something else I'll say, and it's just like an ace, right? When, an, when the ace is on the mound, he's not perfect every game. But what separates an ace from the rest is that he's mostly great, but even when he's not, he finds a way to win. And great teams have that same feature. And what the Yankees showed you in one game, and again, it's one game, it could change, could just be a fluke. I really don't think it is. I hope it's not. But what they showed you today is they can win even when it looks ugly. And last year... When it was ugly, they weren't fucking even coming close to winning games. The Yankees were ugly today. I don't care what you want to say. Yeah. It wasn't that pretty. Some things are great. Some things are really not great. Um, I know Glaber had some really tough plays in the field, but a little concerned with him in, the, again, one game. Right? Judge looked like shit at the plate. One game. Soto looked great. One game. We can keep saying it. But it wasn't that pretty and they still fucking won against a team that has been a thorn in our side for seven years now. And I'm going to fucking be excited about that. Yeah. No, and a big reason why they won, of course, is that Soto great play at the end of the game. And again, I love Forex back in the with a super chat. Soto's crow hop to home turned me on long time that's a lot of super wow. chats pal maybe you should give your mother her credit card back oh hey okay. or you or okay. you can hold on to it all okay. right uh, yeah but we're then you watch for, us for okay. but she's gonna see the statement and then we're you gonna get bought the, my app for, we're gonna get the charge week. back so it's just gonna okay. be a mess you know okay okay yeah what is this uh nyy underground okay. okay what is this what are you watching forex steven uh, what are you doing yeah forex <laughs> come down here Four you know X, what? Three X, two you know X, who? Uh, you know who got the opening day start for uh, the Cincinnati Reds today? Luis Sessa. Um, please tell me it was Frankie Nestor. Montas. Oh, oh my God! I'd rather have Nestor. Would you? Because do you know what Frankie Montas did today? What yeah, he did? Let me guess, big. dude. Let me guess. Seven innings, no one hit, no runs. Right? Six scoreless. Yeah. Fuck you. Unbelievable. And he, and I'm telling you right now, man. Let's just get the negative out of the way because this is a positive podcast. We okay. told you this. No matter what we say, it's a positive podcast. Let me tell you one thing. And, I, and, I'll, and I've had enough evidence now where I'm allowed to say this, and it's not irrational. Okay. If Luis Severino stays healthy all season and has a dominant year, I'm blaming the Yankees for everything. I'm blaming everything on the Yankees. All these injuries, all these guys falling to shit. I'm blaming the Yankees. All it takes is one player for me. Luis Severino, healthy all year, dominant season. Yankees are to blame for everything. Because if that fucking guy can stay healthy and have a dominant year at this point, it's all on the Yankees. Sure. Okay. No, no. That's a serious statement. Okay. And I'm done. And I took it seriously. And, and you should. And you should agree with me, but you won't because... We all know that you love the Yankee front office and mm -hmm. everything they're about. So. Yeah. Oh, I thought Severino. I really thought. Uh, when is Severino starting? He's getting. He's starting on Saturday for the Mets. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because Quintana's got the. Oh, you really there. gave Quintana the fucking start over Severino? I mean, like Come you're on, so dude. you're yeah, so surprising. Yankee you're so Yankee obsessed that you really didn't Probably give a lefty Severino. righty thing, right? You didn't give Sevy the fucking start. I, I love Forex. Evaldi, yeah, perfect. Per, Evaldi, perfect case. Yeah, Laugh there's my a bunch ass. Of them, man. Off, 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 off. Yeah. Oh. No, yeah. Agreed. I mean, look, the list goes on and on. You could, you could go down with Sonny Gray. Uh, fucking. Well, on someone else bang one out. We'll play like a game right now. Okay, but what would you want him to do with? Oh, uh, he's with getting uncomfortable. No, you, be good. You got Tom, oh, oh. Tommy John surgery. What you want? Him oh, to do okay, with? that should be the number one thing that brings him back to the Yankees. Did you want the Yankees to hold on for him for five years? Yeah, maybe. After Tommy John surgery? Sure. Okay. Well, he didn't have success here, and then he had success. Sonny Gray, Lee. Afterwards. Sonny Gray comes here. 
before he gets here, awesome. Comes here, Carl terrible. Pavano. Leaves, back. almost Cy Young again. We can keep going. Let's not make this a game, though. It's a positive podcast. Oh, yeah, it's positivity. Oh, yeah, because is... Garrett Cole sucks, right? Okay, what? here we go. Here we go. <laughs> can we get to Clay Holmes? Because I have, to, not... I have to that... pee really bad. You shouldn't have said that. You really shouldn't have said Fucking that. Jerk off, dude. You're a jerk off. You really shouldn't have said that. Why don't you piss before we go on? All right, you guys keep going. What are you talking like that? Hirsch, Hirsch for real like that. Is in that, the chat, wow. sunny Fifty Shades of Gray. I like it. Did Good Chris one. turn off his camera because he's peeing in the yeah, corner? Yeah, what, what is he doing? Is he pulling out a bo water bottle and he's just going right there? Oh, my God. This the fucking... It was not, do you... This is why, like, for your sake, I say that you guys have different moms because I want to have like a separation of DNA yeah. somewhere along the line for your sake. And I'm, the, the older I get, the more I'm kind of leaning towards believing it. <laughs> I don't know. You might be. You might be. You might have called it. You had it first. I had it first. Okay. Hey, that's you all. It's adopted. What's up, Hirsch? How you doing, Kev? Got Hirsch in the chat. Call me out a little so bit. What? While we're waiting for Chris to finish sure, uh, sure. playing playing with his nuts, lots yeah. of nuts. Yeah. Um. You know, Austin Wells really needs to be the starting catcher for this team. Yeah, I, I mean, look, but that I mean, they they did have the plan. It seemed to be to at least for now stick with the platoon, and then I could see it where if one of them does take that lead and and starts to really run away with it, then they will stick to that. But for right now, it looks like the plan is. Uh, that platoon. Let the mustache ride, my man. That's, for, that's no, the... for sure, especially after that spring. But you do kind of like that. It did seem like they had, they were very prepared today. That they had roles played out, uh, ready to go. They were role playing. Yeah, it's just, I, I want to see Austin Wells is the future of this team. For I want to, sure. I want to see him behind it. Look, I would have been okay, but still felt okay. Wells should have started. But um, if it's not is... if it's not Garrett Cole, then there's no reason really for uh, uh for Trevino to start today. Yeah. So uh, what? Yeah, Framber Valdez is on the mound. Right. Which every a lot of people will lefty lefty. Okay. Yeah. Do they have any other lefties in the rotation? So now I, I'm guessing that it'll be Wells the rest of the series. I'm not really sure. I think we got a did we get another fucking super chat here from uh, our boy or girl who knows? For, I love Forex. Chin Ming Wong is greater than Cole. Hashtag no sticky stuff. Come on, bro. All right, Come you're on. banned. Get out of yeah. here. No, well, it's not banned because he's no, he's, no, he's you're banned. I don't rate. care. I don't care. You're banned. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's starting tomorrow for the uh, assholes? I would guess Javier, but I'm not sure. Houston. Let me see here. We got tomorrow's. Schedule. It is Javier. Yeah, Christian. Oh yeah, your boy. <laughs> And then Hunter Brown name, on Saturday. I don't know what I don't know what he's What's referencing here because he texted me this at eight forty seven. But your cousin texted me and said, "You're so right. Don't back down from him." And I wish I saw this. As... Maybe the Nestor stuff. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, because he was like, "Oh, we have to go see Nestor. We have to go yeah, pay hard our money to meet Nestor." Yeah, so Wells will get his opportunity tomorrow. And, you know, that's another thing because Paul O'Neill even made a good point during the game. Uh, you know, that opening day as a hitter, you you kind of use that as a stepping stone for the rest of the year when you get off to the right foot. So maybe they just didn't want to so start. So game Wells. one of the World Series, uh, you oh, know. Yeah, but I, I get that. Wells but, is but on by the then, bench. he's an established hitter in the lineup that has some sort of background where right now he's still establishing himself. But I'd say by that time that rolls around, if they're in the playoffs, he would have – Either have solidified his spot, or it's more Trevino's uh, Trevino's uh, job. What? In those roles. The mustache. Right. I like it. I like how you said that too. All right, let's close out with the closer, Clay Holmes. Here, uh, he sucks. He's a bum, and I don't want to see him on the mound again. Does that cover it? All right, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And it definitely I'm wasn't there. a good start to the inning, and you felt it coming back. That is he, just gonna be and I'll tell you Astros. what, he's lucky too because, yeah, hell yeah, he's lucky. That umpire calls him safe. There's not enough. There's no, not enough evidence right. to turn that around either. 
No, I don't right. know for sure that Trevino definitely. He claimed he did, but I mean, <laughs> yeah, so did I. Yeah, I don't know if he really got him because if you listen to him post game, he said I got him, but I didn't know where he was, which was kind of like half in the bag there. Yeah, which yeah. to yeah. me yeah. the throw was so good. There's no excuse to not lay on that tag there. You got to lay out more than you did. You you fucking lay out, man. That's to save the game. I don't care if it's game one or game 160. You fucking do everything you can to make that play. And the fact that it was even close to me with a throw like that was insane to begin with. All right, so where, where was the first pitch that Clay Holmes threw today? Um, Almost in the ear of the batter. And what happened after that? You um, just, you then knew. then you the knew. batter was like, then the batter was like, oh, you think I'm scared of you? No, but you knew at that point. First you pick. knew. And was it O'Neill or Girardi that pointed out after he threw that, that uh, he kind of wasn't pitching. He was just guiding the ball over the plate because he knew he didn't have control. Mm. And then he gave yeah. up a hit there. It's like, um, you know how the TikTok trend is like, my boyfriend's red flag is blah, blah, blah. It's no. like that, like, when Here, Clay Holmes came out, you watching, you don't get that on your for you. You know, uh, no, the algorithm hasn't have, hit you with those, have, with the red flags. That. Clay Holmes' red flag is that first pitch of the season, he's nowhere near the plate, and then on the second pitch, yeah, the flag. batter is still so comfortable with him that he takes a a low outside pitch opposite field. So flag. my red flag is that you watch boyfriend red flag videos on TikTok. Yeah, like uh, your algorithm, dude, like. I don't control the algae, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, you do. The, do. the, the algae is based the on what you're watching. No, dude, it controls yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> you can fucking watch. Dude. Um, I know you guys weren't. Ten reasons why we should break up. Uh, this is something we <laughs> talked about on uh, on the round table last night, and I want to get your opinions on it because uh, it's important. All right. It was it was brought up no that problem. Boone should manage with a safety net. For Clay Holmes. And my whole point is that if you have to manage with a safety net for Clay Holmes, then he shouldn't be your closer in the first place. No, no, yeah. then it should just be committee at that point because you don't have a closer at that point if you're not 100% ready to hand the ball off and say this game's over. How can you expect Aaron Boone to manage a game where he has to look at it and say, I can't use Hamilton to get a big out in the seventh inning because I, I might need him to clean up a mess in the ninth? How can you expect the guy to manage that way? How is that? How can you expect to win that way? Yeah. So everyone, everyone on the round table, yeah, we're we're kind of saying that that's the way to do it. I don't know. I, you know how I am. I don't pay attention when other people talk. Yeah, no, it's all about what it's we all have about, to say. It's all right. A, it's all about you. Me. Listen when I talk, right? Uh, yeah, you for sure. All right, cool, 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 cool. Because I listen when you talk. You, you know Chris, what it is. I'm the tribal much. chief. Yeah. Now, I'm just focused on your cousin because he's telling me how right. Yeah, and I can see so. my reflection and, in your and and you're my and you're my wise man, Ryan. Thank you, thank you, Constantine. <laughs> All right, so if it's not Clay, uh, I'll be Christian. Ready? Yeah. You ready? You want to hear how frustrating you are? Drop red flags in the chat. You want to hear how frustrating you are? Ready, Christian? I'll be you. Ready? Some hearts. Yeah. Okay. So who then? Who do you want to close? Who do you want to be closing the games? Tell what's me. Wrong, what's wrong no, with you? No, who man? should it be? Well, who should done? it be? They offered G -I, G -I -E -N. They offered G -I -E -N. all these guys deals. They didn't offer any relievers deals, you asshole. Doesn't matter. No, they'll have that's Devin just, Williams that's by your go to. Devin Did Williams they, will be a Yankee by July. That's your go-to. They okay. offered all the deals. Great. They're not here. Yes. That's what we did. We Ian did Hamilton is your fucking moron. How about that one? Okay, so let's... We do have I options. Love all these fucking red flags, dude. We have options. We have red flags, but we will prevail. <laughs> I have full confidence in Clay Holmes to figure this out. That's gotten really yes, good. I have decided that Clay Holmes will be the long term closer because he is a great pitcher. And Ian <laughs> Hamilton is a great setup guy. I do see similarities to Wetland and Mariano. It is very, very potent. 
the smell is loud, and we are very excited. What do you have, do? Is this what you have, do on we your have, spare time? Yeah, when, when I am bored, I will look up on YouTube. I will look up videos where I just listen, and I kind of listen and talk along with the video. We have a super chat from Crackle Nuts. <laughs> See, I'm, I lose it though when I do it too much. I acknowledge Christian, my tri tribal chief. Nice, crackle. You're crackle the tribal nuts. chief, bro. Yes. Are you gonna get it tatted? Oh, I yeah, might get it like get... a full Samoan sleeve. All right. If the Yankees win the World Series this year, all three of us have to get tats. Nice Kev Boogie. And Kev yours Boogie, has to hilarious. be, yours has to be tribal chief. Is that to... Obama? Says uh, Forex. Not a super chat though, so I shouldn't have even read it. Just kidding. Just kidding. I gotta do. Obama. I gotta do like. <laughs> I gotta do it Roman like Obama, maybe. I gotta bit, do a Roman Reigns full tribal tattoo. Yeah, do it. Bro. Yeah. Fuck it. Who cares? If the Yankees win a World Series, fuck it. If the Yankees it wasn't win Obama, a World Series. it wasn't an Obama impression. It was Hal Steinbrenner, dude. That was fucking dead on. Even if he okay. was, he's triggered that you did an Obama impression. He's like Obama doesn't speak so quickly. Uh, all right. I'm not Dude, doing an Obama. Can we not fucking rip on Positive Forex? Uh, po bro? Yeah, why are we and ripping our biggest fucking... contributor? This is a positive show. All right, it's a positive show, Forex. Th thank you. I'm. I'm. It wasn't Obama. Okay. Tribal Elgato. chief Elgato. Yes. <laughs> Elgato is retired. If Elgato right? shows yeah. up here, well, then you know it's all gone wrong. Yeah, because it should never come again. Thanks, Kev, for having my back always. Elgato and es Medina always have my back. Elgato está muerta. Yo soy tribal chief. So <laughs> let me ask you this. Let's get back on. Let's get the the train back on. The Your rails. mother. Yeah. Okay. Not Ryan's Going off the rails. Mother, my mother. Okay. On the crazy train. Um, Ken, here's a great question. We asked this question a couple weeks ago. Can the Yankees win a World Series if Cole doesn't come back and contribute? We all said no, given the current team. Let's say Cole comes back, team's rolling. Can the Yankees win a World Series with Clay Holmes as the closer? It's going to be hard. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saying it for a while. He's my biggest concern on this team. So, yes or no? Because now, take into consideration, we're... We're talking about how Nestor, well, you weren't, but me and Ryan were, how Nestor was great five innings today, and that was the bar set. And then someone else said, either one of you two, if Carlos gives me five innings, no runs, whatever, we have this five innings set in our head. This bullpen's going to be fucking worn out, man. And if this offense yeah. is as good as we think it is, and the starting pitching's giving up four runs a game... And We're going to have some close games where the Yankees are ahead and Clay Holmes is pitching an awful lot. No, I don't think the Yankees are going to win the World Series with Clay Holmes as the closer because if the Yankees get to the World Series this year, Clay Holmes won't be the closer. So They'll you don't even out. think they can make it that far? I think he'll him. be replaced at that point. By? I'm asking you this seriously. By who? I said this in the chat earlier. Or yes, I forget when I said it. Might even, I think I said this maybe on the show last night, the Yankees were trending to replacing him with Ian Hamilton last year. And I think at some point, if the Yankees don't make an acquisition, that is your primary in-house candidate to yeah, replace in -house, him. In-house, in-house. But then you they, they always end up liking when these guys perform well in the eighth inning that they might not want to move off from them. And I, I could see it if there is a problem with Holmes that they would look elsewhere. And that's where the key is, honestly, looking at the Brewers this year. Can look I, at where the Brewers are at, and they can go out and get look for Devin Williams. There's well, look, you could be also looking at where the Guardians are at, bro. If they want to sure. really rebuild, go get a Class A. Class A, yeah. Um, Not for sure. Those kinds of teams are what you need to pay attention to. There's certain don't talent. Know. There's certain talent or just anything in general where it's so obvious that you can honestly look back and say, no, I didn't take him for granted. I knew how great he was at the time. You can say it about Derek Jeter because I think we can all say, no, I never took Jeter for granted. I knew what kind of greatness he brought, right? Nothing is making me question that. 
I never thought in a million years you would have to find me some of the most awful fucking closers for me to sit here and say, maybe I did take Mariano Rivera for granted. Because what we've had as a closer. Or everybody of, took him for granted? He was dead because when but, you're but that. But did we though? When but you're we, that because, good, you do. But we you did. knew how great Come he was. On. You knew how great he was. We haven't had a guy who didn't give no us one has, fucking no one has. a heart attack every time he goes out on the mound. No one has one even close. Well, to, I'm talking no one has had a the, Mariano Rivera. No, no I'm not, not saying that. Close. I'm saying get me a guy where I'm not holding my breath every time yeah. he steps on the mound in the ninth inning. Is there no one out there? Because I promise you, every single time guys. Chapman took the ball, I couldn't breathe. Haters and now I'm starting name. to get there with Clay Holmes. Haters, someone that did have some inconsistency, but then found it again. I just, you know, it's I, I don't. There's not really a lot of guys out there like that. It's it's a fucking hard role that not a lot of guys are doing a great job with. There's only here's my problem. Really did it with ones. one pitch, and, and here's my wild. here's my problem with Clay Holmes. If you if he his yeah, bad Andrew outings lights out. If his bad outings were him giving up hits, I feel like that's maybe something that you can work on. But his problem is that he can't find the fucking plate. Who and else's no, problem was that? And there's no fixing that. Chappy. Yeah. How many times did we say? David Robertson was pretty nice. How many times did we have to say? Underappreciated for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. Chapman blew the game on his own. The other team didn't hit him. And he would blow games all on his own. Yeah. You give up a single, followed by a two-run home run, game over. Yeah, yeah too many similarities hate with it, Chapman. Hate it, still hate it, live with it. Walk, hit by pitch, wild, uh, wild pitch, walk. There, there's the first run, sack fly. Now you now you lost the game, but you didn't even give the ball, never even uh, made it yeah. to the warning track. You know, you know how you say the Giants making the playoffs, not this past season, but the season prior, fucked you guys because it kind of set you in a direction you weren't ready to be in as an organization. Yeah, it was probably the worst thing possible for the organization. I think the worst thing possible was Clay Holmes being dominant for that stretch gate. of time for this team, and now they think he's closer worthy because I just don't. I've never. It's fair. I've his never stuff gotten, is closer worthy. It's just not. I'm not saying his no. stuff isn't great. No, I know you're not. I'm just throwing it out. He's there. just, I don't know that. I just don't know if he's the guy. I'll be honest with you. You know who I've been fighting for to be the closer? To show me that he could be the closer and he just can't fucking do it? Loisica. Yeah, I. But he's, he's a guy. He's far that, away from that now. I know, dude. I know. But he yeah. just always was a guy who wanted to fall into that place. And even if he has a health a healthy year this year, he's not going to be the closer because then no. the Yankees aren't going to want to pitch him two times, three times, but four like, times in a row. And like SGR said, he's just so far from that, not just in the role he's in, but he's also a guy who has control problems. I mean, that seems to be the thing now. You throw hard and you you don't have control like uh, comes it's just like how home runs and strikeouts come hand in hand and people just accept it that seems to be the new trend pitching closing wise have, look uh, you're gonna oh, you, go ahead ryan yeah i'm just gonna throw on the super chat from isla forex who's go, going in with uh our homes chat holmes is wetland 2.0 hashtag me no likey i mean the yankees did win a world i don't know series. enough about wetland to be able to really comment there it's like a nine wetland was a great. way different pitcher and he also had yeah, Mariano Rivera. Yeah. Well, Mo is a setup man. But they, but that's what I said. He had Mariano Rivera. Yeah. Mariano Rivera sucked the fucking life out of everybody before Wetland came in. Yeah. The yeah. Yankees don't have Mariano Rivera Dry setting man. up, <laughs> setting up for uh, for Clay yeah. Holmes. Maybe if they had a soul a soul snatcher out there, which could be Ian Hamilton, bro. Maybe, bro. That's Maybe your boy. Big, yeah, definitely. You have your two boy. boys, Verdugo yeah, and Ian Duke. Hamilton. Dude, I'm telling you, I, Looney called him I, I would really like Is to it? see the Yankees move Verdugo up in the lineup because it's again, this is something that was pointed out yesterday that this is just screaming Andrew Benintendi all over again. Absolutely. You stick right. Benny. They stuck Benny at Game. seven, 
and wondered why he wasn't hitting. And then uh, Benny started, they moved him up to, did he lead off or bat second? I forget. But when they put him up at the top of the lineup, he started hitting and they're like, whoa, gee, I wonder what fucking happened there. You know, it wasn't even our best lineup. And my theory has already come true in one game that the guys at the bottom of this lineup are going to be so important. And I just don't think Verdugo should be down. I just don't think he's a bottom of the lineup kind of guy. I think it needs to be guys more like Labor Torres, who you don't think can wreck a game, or um, Oswaldo Cabrera, right? Today, what's going like? Okay, Cabrera comes up. He's not Cabrera. You didn't see that home run and go, dude. He might be the answer. That wasn't your. That wasn't what you thought. But what happened was there's no fucking breaks in this lineup. When Oswaldo Cabrera is batting ninth and he's got some pop in his bat and the pitching staff is saying to themselves, I need to find a break here. Oswaldo Cabrera, I'm going to just throw some strikes here and see what happens. And Cabrera gets into one. That's what happens when your lineup is this fucking filthy. But what if you get a little Riz, not Rizzo, you, like the kids say, the Riz. You get a little Riz a from Riz. You get a, a little Rizzler? Riz from the. You get a little Riz from the combo of maybe Cabrera and Birdie. Fine. What, do you tell DJ to go fuck off? Fuck yeah, dude! I said it last episode. Beat it. Yes. Beat or beat it. Beat or beat it. Beat or beat it. Beat or beat it. So I look. I don't know, man. It's going to be interesting to see. I, there, it wasn't a perfect game by any means today because it, in all rights, the Yankees should have lost today. So you always yeah. – these, no, yeah. these, these ones where you should have lost but you win, these stolen wins always mean a little bit more. Uh, but there's things they obviously need to improve on. But you liked – you remember when K used to beat it to death, the gritty gutty, the gritty gutty Yankees, the gritty gutty Yankees. These were yeah. the grit. This he was already a little, gave us a two on, two out, two two. two this harkened two back to the gritty gutty days. It did. You felt that, you know, you felt that. What Soto saw twenty five pitches today. The walks by Volpe. You know, there were some really yeah, good A Bs up and down the yeah, lineup. Yeah. Uh, there was some bad A Bs up and down, but there, you felt like. You know, Nestor giving you the uh, what? What did we call it earlier? Fuck, I forgot. Uh, the, um, the buckle, uh, the, the buckle down, down balls. Buckle down, you got the buckle down, down balls from Nestor. Buckle right? down balls. So maybe the Yankees do it in in in, in an imperfect way this year. Maybe yeah, maybe this, maybe this. How many straight innings was it where the Yankees rallied and then it was killed? Was it? Three. Well, it was three out of the first four. Three out of the first four, right? And I felt like last year, when you got three out of the first four, that was just that was just the appetizer. Like you were getting a lot more of it after because this team, that team last year, that would happen three out of the first four innings, and it would pull them down for the final five. And it would just be more and more of the same thing over and over. Well, Here. I'll say this, bro. And it was brought up to me, you know, in one of my tweets about Verdugo and Soto today is that, yeah, sure. They were brought here to improve the offense, but that swag they brought into the clubhouse can't be understated. I say it all the time, man. Yes. People, people laugh at chemistry and shit. It's not, it's not a joke. Like yeah, there is one, it's that one extra thing you don't have to think about. It's There's just guys like, keeps your mind like focused. Soto doing this shit where he's hitting his bicep or whatever with fucking yeah, Judge. bringing up those biceps, bro. They were key, yeah. Not um, blaming. There's, there's something to all of that. There's something to having those two guys right next to each other in the outfield going, that was, uh, like, Judge was fucking blown away by him. Yeah, I know he did. Judge looked, looked like a way. little kid watching a younger kid. Bro, the best player in baseball that doesn't illegally bet on sports was blown away by Juan Soto today. That yes. says everything. It, it, I mean, it just, it does something. And you can hate Verdugo all you want for being a fucking homeless rat 
in Boston. But I got to tell you something. That homeless rat when he played the Yankees killed him. Fucking killed him. And I always hated him for that because I always thought he was a good ball player. And this kid came here, and he's ready to fill the role. You saw him in the dugout today. This team, it's not always just about talent. It's also about the guys in that dugout. And this team showed us something in one game that they really failed to show us overall all of last season. It's one game. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, but this is a positive podcast, and I'm going to be excited about it. We're one to know. So if you, on, so if anybody wants to yeah. dub Alex Verdugo my boy, I will gladly take it because here is the list of people that played outfield for the Yankees last year. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. I can't wait. Wait, outfield or left field? Both no, just as outfield people here about this the is, list. Uh, I'm sure some of them probably did touch left field at some point, but these are... We are going to start banging. These are guys that played in the outfield for the Yankees last year. Okay. Billy McKinney. Okay. Franchi Cordero. Holy fuck. Keep going. Willie Calhoun. It's a graduation list. Okay. IKF. Okay. We brought a knife. Aaron Hicks. Gonna go grab a box cutter. Jake Bowers. Razor blade and Greg Allen. Jesus Christ. Could, who could potentially play again this year. He, he, that's true. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, if you're looking down upon Alex Verdugo, just look at that list and then come back to me. Absolutely. So best way to look at it. Sometimes that's all you can do. And I really hope the Yankees let the mustache ride tomorrow. I don't want to see Jose Trevino yeah. in the fucking lineup. We're, we're getting the stash. I, that was just, let's just real quick before you wrap up, let's just talk about how real quick, real, real quick, atrocious that Trevino's in that lineup over. We did when you pissed. Yeah, so, you, had, you, miss, you, you missed your chance. Your camera off and walked Goodbye. Away. You were the weakest thing. Yeah. Goodbye. Okay. So the Yanks are 1-0. Nice opening day win. It's always good to come back and, and beat the Astros. Uh Obviously, you know, they got it. They got us in more important situations. But, you know, the last two times we were in Houston, you know, Dominguez uh, first at bat home run off of uh, Verlander. I believe the Yankees swept that series, right? Yeah, the in September. Yeah. Yeah. Then today to come back on opening day. So uh, maybe maybe if we can get them in October. All right. Maybe we can get them in October. Things will be a little bit different. Okay. Don't get there. Don't worry about it. I wouldn't worry about it. We'll see. One game. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Just one game. But tomorrow night is more than one game because Carlos Rodon cannot shit the bed tomorrow night. No. I want to see Let's a fucking mug start shot. Start out on the right foot. I want a mug Left shot foot. of Carlos Rodon after yeah. the game tomorrow. Yeah. For the dropping his ever. fucking balls on the mound. Lots Player of nuts. Been arrested. Okay. And getting arrested. Big game. Lots okay. of nuts. Nobody will watch it because everybody will be too triggered because it's on Apple TV. Oh, my uh, God. What a fucking disgrace. Yeah, but sometimes they have that feature where you could turn off the announcers. No, like no, 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 no. You can listen to Sterling, dude. It's the best feature. Oh. So no, but be tr- it's a disgrace. I don't the- need 19 streaming services to watch the Yankees. Yeah. Apple a day, John. Don't you think it's a beautiful thing when 85-year-old men watch mm. every Yankee game? And now they fucking can't anymore because they don't know what Apple TV means. Don't you think it was a beautiful thing when 85 year old men used to listen to the game on the radio and they can't yeah, tell you anymore something. because that 85 it's on year old TV. man, that 85 year old man is responsible for 10 other people no. being Yankee fans. Wow. right now. No, no. Where is this? What is this? Apple. Do I eat it? Apple. <laughs> However. So oh, if you were oh, such well. a if you were a good grandson, you'd sign your grandfather into stirring. Apple. You you'd sign your grandfather into Apple TV tomorrow. Okay? He's not blood, bro. Yeah, can't, now isn't that a rule? You can't do that with Apple unless can't do it blood. unless you're blood. Right. Your grandfather's not blood. He's not grandfathered in. No. Uh, okay. Okay. But tomorrow is a bit. I'm telling you, bro. You want to you want to make grand proclamations and say, oh, it's only it's uh, this is a huge game for Carlos Rodon tomorrow. Huge. Huge game. Can't Huge. shit the bed tomorrow. Can't do it, Carlos. Because guess what? 
you know, you're but, gonna have to deal. You're gonna have to deal with me if you fuck this tomorrow. You don't want to mess with that guy up there. The tribal chief. Yeah. Wow. So, you need thank, anything up there? Thank chief. you, what? Thank you, wise man. Anytime. Are you so, uh, at him? I got yeah, it. I'm looking at him. He's over there. You're here. I thought you had a portrait. No, I'm looking, looking at you guys because you guys are up here. That's how I watch you guys. <laughs> how are we doing up there? As as the tribal chief says, acknowledge me, acknowledge us by smacking the like if you've been in the chat uh, uh, tonight and haven't done so already. Acknowledge us by subscribing to NYYU. Acknowledge us by subscribing to NYYST wherever you get your podcast. And acknowledge us by telling your neighbors and friends that we are the number one podcast in the entire fucking world. Okay, I just went. I went super there. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Wild. We are the we are the official Yankee podcast of Odyssey, so make sure you tell everybody, okay? Okay. Seal. Yanks will All wrap right. up in the opening week with Houston with Rodon, uh, Stroman, and Schmidt on the mound. It'll be 8-10 Friday on Apple, 7-15 on Saturday, uh on Fox, and then yes, we'll get the Easter Sunday afternoon, 2-10. And listen, remember. With Odyssey, we are on Odyssey and anywhere you listen to podcasts. So right now, when this show finishes, head over to wherever your primary source of podcasts, find MIYST, subscribe to the show. We will have a second episode this week. We don't know exactly when, but if you're subscribed, you will get the notification that it has come out. So just subscribe, make it easier for us, make it easier for you, and don't miss the episode. That's it. Yes, so we want to thank everybody that uh, was in the chat tonight, man. We, it was a huge day, a huge. groundbreaking day for NYYU. Uh, like we say, we got the best community out there, man, and this is just the beginning, day one of the takeover here. We'll be back live on uh, NYYU on April 4th, so, uh, you know, that's our next live show, so be here for that. Uh, we want to thank everybody for their continued support of NYY Underground and NYYST. We want to thank everybody for listening and watching episode 374. Wise man. Go Yanks. Chris, say goodbye. <laughs> Can't make a promise, but I do my best. 25 sitting on 25 racks. Just got started, no, we ain't done yet. Bought a new crib, that's a goddamn flex. Goddamn flex. Sign that check. Told him last year that I've been up next. Can't take calls, but I send that text. From way downtown.